In this lesson, we take a look at the parts of a circle. So there's our circle there. The dot in the middle there shows the center, and it's often marked as O. Now, a line that goes through the center and goes from one end of the circle to the other is known as a diameter. A line from the center to the outside is known as a radius. Okay, I've drawn a diameter there, and I've cut the circle exactly in half. Okay, a half circle is known as a semicircle. I've got a full circle back. Let's start splitting it up. If we start splitting it up into quarters, okay, one quarter of a circle is known as a quadrant. A line like this from one end to the other but doesn't go through the center is known as a chord. And that area I've shaded there is known as a segment. In fact, the area I've shaded we could specify that could be called a minor segment, okay, a smaller one. The one above it, the bigger one, is known as the major segment, okay, so the major segment will be the bigger one. We have a couple of lines from the center, all right, what we form there is a sector, okay, or a slice of pizza if you like, a sector. That distance there that's marked on the circle, okay, it's not the distance right around, but just a smaller distance, is known as an arc. It's spelled like that, A-R-C. If we wanted to know the distance right around the circle, okay, we'd refer to that distance as the circumference, okay, the distance around the circle, sometimes referred to as the perimeter of a circle, the circumference. Now let's draw a couple of circles. And I'm going to draw a diameter in one of them, okay, the identical circles, and a radius in the other. Let's see what's the connection between the two. Well, the diameter is two times the radius, okay, it's twice the radius. And the other way of thinking about that is that the radius is half of the diameter. Let's look at an example. Let's say the radius is eight centimeters. So in our diagram there, let's mark in eight centimeters as the radius then the diameter is double that, okay? The diameter will be 16 centimeters. Okay, radius of eight, we double that, the diameter would be 16. What if the diameter, in fact, was 10? So on our diagram, let's mark the diameter as 10 centimeters. The radius is half of that, okay? So the radius would be five centimeters. So looking at that, diameter of 10, the radius half of that is five. Okay, that's pretty. 